We've been boondocking for a few days at the Valley of Fire West Dispersed Camping Area. The campsite we found is perfect. The landscape views are endless and stunning. We're isolated from the other campers and the sunsets dazzle us every evening. Every day feels special when you're adventuring like we are, but today is even more special than the rest. Today's my birthday and I have a twin sister and she and her husband are coming to our campsite to meet us. Neither of us lives in the area, but my sister Brandy and I made plans to meet here to celebrate our 40th birthday together by exploring the Valley of Fire State Park. In adulthood, we don't always get to celebrate our birthday in the same place, so it's extra cool that we get to spend this one together. Here they come. Valley of Fire State Park is near our campsite and only a 45 mile drive northeast of Las Vegas, Nevada. The park covers over 40,000 acres and is named for its vibrant red Aztec sandstone. Many highlights in the park are easily accessible by car and not far from the road. We're not going to camp inside the park, but there are two campgrounds available that include RV sites with full hookups and group camping sites. Hiking and picnicking are popular activities here and there's a visitor center with informative exhibits about the formation and history of the park. These striking rock formations are called the beehives. The fascinating rock formations are located on the southwest side of the park. The layers of sandstone resemble large beehives after millennia of wind erosion. When you get up close to the beehives, you can see where holes have worn into the stone in lattice configurations. They're evocative of giant honeycombs in the larger beehive shape. The next stop is Adelaide Rock, the site of ancient petroglyphs that you can see from a staircase that leads right up to the side of the cliff where they were inscribed. These symbols were created around 2,500 years ago by the prehistoric indigenous basket maker peoples. An atlatl is the tool they used to launch spears. The rock is named for it, and there are images of the tool in the collection of petroglyphs.
Arch Rock is another popular point to stop and take pictures. It's very close to the road and easy to get to. What's so appealing about arches and rocks? I get excited every time I see one. It's quite a thrill to see the ephemeral sky through the solid, seemingly eternal rock. It's a reminder that nothing is forever. And the wind gradually transforms and removes the hardscape, placing it on the ground bit by bit, building dunes grain by grain of sand. We're lucky to be at the park on a day with gorgeous clouds. They add such depth and drama to an already endlessly photogenic place. This is the Rainbow Vista Trail. It's an easy, family-friendly trail in the center of the park. The rock formations here are just as stunning as all the others, but my favorite part of this stop is the sand. It's so soft and the color is unreal. After a day of exploring, it's time to head back to the RV. Brandy and her husband are heading back into town and we're staying here to take in the next sunset. I couldn't ask for a better 40th birthday. <laughs>